Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Time Machine mod for Hots of Vine 4. Well, you, me, and we're riding with Biden here, in which Italy has just declared war on the British Empire. I really did leave this on a historical, didn't I? So we have the Novus Imperium Romanum versus the Allies, which we'll join the Allies eventually. But really, I, I suppose my goal in this campaign is just for us to take out Japan. Because, well, it's because of Japanese. Now, It'd be my bet that we might end up going to war with a certain Syrian nation eventually, but hey, you know, Biden's got his own ideas. Maybe we'll go there, maybe we won't. And we're looking at a pretty free India, but regardless, we've got quite a few comments to go through and uh, talk about some of the focuses I've already done. So, we finished off the American army. We have to improve our army. Uh, we're currently going with secure our industry. We must secure our industry so it's not destroyed by the coronavirus. Romania joined the Allies. I don't think I was expecting that. Uh, also, additionally, like I'll be doing some of these focuses off screen. I just want to keep you guys up to pace with what we're doing. It's August third, nineteen thirty-eight. Uh, we must expand our cities to improve our economy. We will be doing that eventually, off together, or I'll do it off screen. We'll also do we need more universities for more research. So new, new universities. We're also injecting people with needles so that they they can uh, you know protect themselves against the little coronavirus. We're going to do better artillery. We need better artillery. Better weapons. We need better weapons. Better air force. Better air force. Navy. We need a better navy. Better ships. We need better ships. Better planes, we need better planes. Better doctrine, we need a better doctrine. Better tanks, we need better tanks, as well as a nuclear focus, in which we all need some nukes. So, I want to go through all that stuff just because it's going to be a, probably potentially a bigger delay between cuts in this campaign just because we can. So, right now, we've got all those people. And that was one of the comments from earlier, actually. Riding with Biden. Oh, you bet we are. Oh, and, of course, Central America is, well, being Central America. But let's go and increase production of the vaccine. I've already done <clears throat> Ohio. But uh, let's go ahead and do Oklahoma because we can. And continue trying to put down the virus. Which will be a good thing to do. Also we have escal Escalator Clause invoked. We're training a navy. Or at least, you know, training our ships in the navy. And I want to go to war with the Japanese really just because... Well, actually we'll take out these guys too. Uh, I want to use my navy. Because when I played as, uh, you know, President Trump, we went to war with Germany and PewDiePie and all them. I want to kind of focus on maybe the Japanese, take them out, even though they're not at war with the Chinese yet, which is probably not a good thing for us. If they're bogged down in China, that'd be really good, but let's see. We don't know which way they went. The Fourth International, how many internationals will there be? Uh, but we got to go over a few comments as well, and let's grab some Decimetric Radar. Let's see. Someone wants me to go with the furry or gay empire route. With the cancel the elections focus. We will eventually. I promise you that. We definitely, definitely will. But first, we're going to do expanding our cities because I like more factories. That'd be very nice. Another com okay, there they go. Uh, another comment was, oh yeah, it, well, it was kind of alluding to this. Uh, oh, Japan, are you okay there? All right, El Salvador joined the Allies. Okay then. Uh, don't let Grandpa Joe near the random women or kids. He has a tendency to get a little sniffy and a little touchy. Yeah, Grandpa Joe. Just keep your hands and nose to yourself. Anyways, uh, let's see. Someone recommended that this pa that this mod should have a Bill Nye the Science Guy path. So, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Also, I want to let you know that with this mod, Time Machine mod, it was eventually removed from the Steam page, but there, at the time of this recording, there is a 2.0 version for the mod, which tones things down a little bit. From my understanding, that the mod, the 1.0 version, was taken down because of some <clears throat> some apparently we had some focuses in the mod that uh, may or may not have committed actions that removes people we'll say so there's that uh, additionally uh, so if you want the mod you get, version 2 I've heard is a little like watered down but oh there goes oh nice awesome that's what we want to see but for the purposes of this campaign, I'm I still have version 1.0, and I just, and when I heard that the Steam version was taken down, I copied the mod files just in case. So we're still we still have the 1.0 version. So we still have all the fun stuff that we can do, especially with radical centrism, reject boring policies. You know, we can crush the protests again, we which we will. We'll defend our nation. We will oppose Trump eventually. We'll do arms and Dixie someday. Defend his legacy. A new president. Uh, an American theocracy, which someone actually, actually quite a few people want me to do, especially doing the gay communes, and then the furry empire and gay fascism, capitalism is fascism. So, and someone also walked, that was one of the comments from the last video too. Do the uh, Zionist destiny as well. Uh, I would like to do and Capistan and a wholesome dictatorship. Ah, uh, Ingsoc would be nice too. So, 
Uh, of course, unless the mod developer wants me to take this video down, which hopefully he doesn't want me to, or she doesn't want me to, or the team doesn't want me to, because I really like what the mod team has done with this this mod, so I think it's really awesome. So if, if the developer is watching, thumbs up. So regardless, those are the comments that we have for now. Uh, we're still our army. Guatemala is joining the allies. I don't... Oh, oh, now there goes the allies and the Axis. Now they're killing each other off. So basically it's the allies versus the Axis, which includes them, but France is not in the allies. There goes Luxembourg. Um, they're still fighting Germany, though, but they're not in the Allies. Now, that might be... Look at Pakistan and India. Eh, that's bound to happen. Um, Hansen Mosley's here as well. I can't join their faction. There goes Guatemala. We'll probably end up going to war with the Axis. <sighs> Anyways, hello. And Hello, that's a different color, Brazil. Wow, I've not seen Brazil go that color, and they have a generic focus tree. Uh, is that supposed to happen? That is... That actually hurts my eyes a little bit, seeing a tannish, tannish brownish Brazil. I'm so used to a green Brazil. This is, this is nasty. Absolutely nasty. Now, where are we going to inject people with, uh, coron with coronavirus, basically? Illinois, because they have Chicago. I've got to do Indiana. Is there anywhere else? Oh, yeah. North Dakota, I guess. Sure, why not? Other than that... Oh, war uh, that wouldn't be bad. I also have gone to some partial mobilization. Up next, do we want anyone here? Glorious Social Democrat, which gives you communism support for some reason. Cool. Uh, we're Actually, we're getting our naval doctrine done very quickly, which is awesome. A traditional woman. I like the political power. Daily compliance would not be bad. Jeb Bush, I mean, I kind of got to go with Jeb Bush. I, I, I got to go with Hillary Clinton. I think I just have to. It wouldn't be a proper run if I did not go with Hillary Clinton, the Princess of Terror. And I want to go, I think I'll go with Al Gore. As much as I want to get more army XP, I just feel like we just got to go with Al Gore. Because I went with Dick Cheney when I played as Trump. I think Al Gore would be okay. Expand our cities, of course. And then, how about some new universities? Rebuilding the economy wouldn't be bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. End of the Depression. Oh, wait, hold on. Requires all of the following. Okay, so that's interesting. Because you need both of these, but you can't do this because... We need to do that first. Okay, so we can't. So can we can still go down that way. So we're gonna need more uni universities for research. In the meantime, I'm just gonna be hanging out, having a good time. Before, let's take a look real quick. Look at joining the Allies. We have to get rid of Corona. So we'll see what happens when we finish off coronavirus. Well, so we're not that. We're not quite far into 1939. Happy 1939, everyone. But preparations for the elections. It's time for the 1939 presidential elections. Candidates from all over the states have decided to give it their all and run campaigns for a chance as the most powerful person in the world. In the end, only one will win. As the campaigns are in full swing, millions of dollars are being funneled and ad campaigns take place in huge numbers. The choice, though, is ultimately in the hands of the people. We need a new candidate. Or go with Kamala Harris. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be kind of wild, but let's just go with Kamala Harris just because I'm thinking... That might be okay, because that seems pretty normal, but... Okay, well... Big Chungus has arrived, and he joined the Roman faction. Um... Alright. And I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens with the election thing, so let's keep it on together for now. As we watch the world go crazy, the... Well, I guess this makes sense. The fascist Spanish, as well as the fascist Portuguese, joined the British Empire, the Allies, because... Mosley's fascist. So we got fascists fighting fascists fighting fascists. You know, it's a triple fascist war, except Italy and PewDiePie and Hitler aren't killing each other, which is something I don't think I'd ever would have said before, but hey, it is what it is. And Turkey joins the Allies. All right then. So we're just waiting for to do this just because we got to get rid of coronavirus. So let's go ahead and do maybe rebuilding the economy. We might as well rebuild the economy, right? Now that the coronavirus is not a problem, we can focus on rebuilding our economy. Pretty good thing. A fifth research slide is actually pretty helpful. We gotta get some more guns as well. So I'm just hoping here that oh wait, hold on. With this focus, so four more years. So we'll be bypassed after the nineteen thirty nine elections. So I went with four more years. Oh well, technically no, I didn't go with four more years because they wanted Kamala Harris. A new candidate, lead the democracies, denounce fascism, which would be Actually kind of wild to do, seeing as, well, there's so many fascist nations in the world, so, yeah, requires one of the following. Uh, any other country is at peace. Well, maybe we can't go down this way. Huh. There's not a, so we gotta go to the coronavirus, and any country has to be at peace with the U.S. It's a faction leader, it's considered a major, current ruling party is democratic. 
Ooh, we might not actually be able to do this route then. I might just brute force it anyways, so. Destroy European fascism, attack the Japanese. So we'll see what happens here. Just because I... Maybe she's leaving on historical for pretty much every single time. Guaranteed every democratic or non-aligned nation in the world. Or democratic... Oh, the bull moose power has to be in power. Okay. The big stick diplomacy. Interesting. Well, I've already played as bull moose before. Threatening neutral countries absorb the American colonies. Well, that's kind of cool. Demand Canada. Secure the Pacific. A free American world, which would be pretty cool. But okay, so we'll probably have to go... Is not in power. We'll probably have to go this way. Secure the free world, which is okay. Military aid, of course. Allied investment, which is not bad. Economic cooperation. No more frontiers. As well as the United States of the world. Uh, okay, interesting. So I'm... Hopefully we'll get something here, but you know what? Maybe not. Maybe we should focus a little bit more on the vaccine right now. Let's go with uh, Kentucky and Missouri next. So, yeah, if there's another event, I'll show it to you. The end of the pandemic. With cases down across the U.S., the coronavirus pandemic appears to be defeated. The release of the vaccine in all the states helped to slow the spread until herd immunity was reached. People are now safely returning to normal over the country, but the scars caused by the pandemic will never fully go away. The coronavirus is gone, just magically disappears, in which we will go to war economy. We must mobilize our economy, in which I will eventually do the end of depression, our economy is now better than ever's, and we'll probably, n oh, actually we go down with this one, libertarian reforms, but I did that one with the Donald Trump path, so we'll probably go with social reforms, in which it's only 35 days. We have to implement social reforms, because our consumer gets factories, get more political power, we get a little more stability. As we watch the world slowly, slowly kind of descend into madness as, well, things are just going on a little crazy, like, Ireland joined the Axis, uh, France is getting its butt whooped by Italy, of all places, Czechoslovakia is still holding on for now, oh, better tanks, not bad, oh, let's, let's go and mobilize the economy, of course, <clears throat> and Czechoslovakia is still holding on, Hungarians joined the Italian uh, sphere, Greece is trying to resist Italian stuff. Uh, Bulgaria just declared war on Greece, so they're in the Italian faction, by the way, too, so. Really, this is kind of, uh, this is very weird. This is a very weird world in which I think, yeah, China and them are still fighting each other. At this point, I might just go to war with these guys, but then again, I realize we don't have enough factories. We really don't. We need about 11,000 guns, which is insane, but we're probably going to need that, especially to invade those Japanese home islands. But we shall see what happens when we are nice and really ready. Well, it's November 11th, 1939. The candidate proposed by our parties won the elections. The first chairwoman, and she's a law enforcer. Plus 20 maximum command power increase, minus 15% damage to garrisons, and minus 15% high command cost. Four more years. Oh, good lord. That's all I'm going to say about this. Oh, my goodness. In which we, we can denounce fascism. Fascism is not that great. It's time to denounce them. As we, ooh, we get... An, Instead, lead the democracies. We're the strongest democracy in the world. We must lead the other democracies, which I guess technically we could actually recreate NATO, which actually would make more sense since we just defeated the uh, coronavirus pandemic. I'd like to join them, but uh, I actually don't want to go down this path because I went down this path when we played as Donald Trump because that's the only way you could go. Hmm. Support small democracies, unite against the devil. It seems like we will probably be forced to go down this way then because I don't like that. But then again, if we create our own faction, that might not be too bad going to war with, with the uh, Japanese. So just in case, I'm going to read these anyways. We'll probably go down this way then. I'd like to join the Allies, but I should have left this on historical. Whatever. We need a strong alliance led by the strongest country to defeat the enemies of democracy. We need to recreate NATO to save this world. An alliance to rule them all, of course. NATO is the greatest alliance because America is leading it. We should, be a, we should absorb all the major alliances with the same ideology so they can be a part of the greatest alliance. Increase the military budget. We need more money to make more guns, and every country and our faction must increase its military budget too. Peacekeeping missions. There's a lot of countries at war. We must use our military power to end these wars and eliminate any threat to our country. Anti-communist stance. Communism is worse. We must oppose it. Peacekeeping coups. There's a lot of threatening countries in this world. We must prepare coups in those countries to preserve peace. Secure the Middle East. We can't trust these, those terrorists in the Middle East. We must attack them before they attack us. And we've got to lead the world. America is the greatest country. We must lead this world to greatness and eliminate communism. We must eliminate communism. Go figure. Up next, so I will be choosing the end of the Depression. Our economy is now better than ever, which will be great, 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 great. And that will be done in about five days, which isn't too bad. As I'm still trying to just build up the army. Build, really just trying to build up more of an industry for us. We need more military factories so we can send, like, naval bombers out. Because, like I said, my main goal is just to take out the Japanese in this campaign. So, I think that would be the best thing for us to do. Actually, we get 120 political power. 
not a bad thing, I would say. Not a bad thing. And also, if you look down here, Chief of the Navy is Diane Feinstein, which is the French Empire. Okay, now they join the Allies. And we have George Bush and Barack Obama. So, it's kind of weird. It makes a little more sense probably for us to go with Barack Obama for that one. So, now we're looking at more of the normal Allies, even though they have Spain and Romania with them. Well, everyone, this is very weird. The leftist international Venezuelans de declared war on us. So, and then Germany wants me to join their faction. We're led by Mama Kamala Harris. Uh, the French Empire has whooped the Italian Empire. What the heck? Um, I don't like this. Uh, I'm going to get involved in this. I don't want to do this usually, but uh, I don't like this border gore. So, let's do that. There you go. And who owns this? Independent state of Croatia. Why? They're puppet of the British. Oh, oh, I guess that makes some sense then. That's okay then. I usually don't like getting involved in those type of stuff, but whatever. So, Venezuela declared war on us as I was setting us up to get ready to go to war with the Japanese, but looks like that's going to have to be put on support or put on hold for now. We're very democratic here. Uh, sure, we'll grab the non packs. Very, very good. And we lost that over there. So, Bill Clinton. Oh, AOC. I was going to have you, like, literally na navally invade from here. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. So, hopefully we can send some ships down here, invade from Puerto Rico, maybe. And have a good time. I'll be building up better planes. After this one, we're probably going to go ahead and grab some landing craft. Because it is 1940. About October 7th, 1940, which isn't too bad. Naval bombers are very, actually very, very good to have. Uh, if you'd like to come on through, that's fine with me. Let's throw you guys right here as well. Because we're going to need a navally invade. Uh, Y'all stop training. And y'all start doing some of this stuff. Because hopefully these guys will do okay. Uh, are these guys killing someone else off or something? Uh, they're fighting us. Yeah, the world's gone to crap. So this is very weird. This is very, very weird timeline. Oh, and we found some... Oh, we've already begun some convoy raiding. Not bad, not bad. I... Well, I don't really want to get rid of... Her... Stuff already set up. I don't want to set that up again. That's 100 days. So unfortunately, I'll set it up off screen once more. But whatever. So, Bill Clinton... It's only fitting that the Puerto Rico department probably invades from Puerto Rico to take out uh, Caracas, probably. That'd probably be a little bit smart. These guys are also 20 combat with, which is pretty good. You guys will probably invade from anywhere else relatively close. Not really. You guys come from, come from Florida. Maybe we can invade here. Maybe, maybe not. I hope we can. Uh, if that's the case, we're going to also invade from Puerto Rico and invade over there, just in case, maybe. And invade from... I like Puerto Rico. Let's go from here and invade right there. So we got, like, what? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 divisions. Hopefully going to be able to enable invade from Florida. Florida. And to this region here. So, we'll see what happens. As we will slowly be trying to throw on more and more soldiers to our respective generals. A very strong generals. And AOC gives us plus 50% infantry attack and 20% infantry defense. So, not too bad. Now, we are at war, so I'll probably go with limited exports since... Uh, it's not looking too great around here. That's alright. As we're continuing to expand our army even more and more and more and more and more. Even though we're doing really well in naval XP. Uh, we're actually doing quite well. And we're led by John Brown. Like John Brown's raid. As well as these fine folks. Uh, no accessible regions. Uh, if that's the case. Come on back home to Florida. We're led by Alex Jones. Some might call him Alexander Jones. But Alex Jones is leading our navy. No matter what. You can never escape a campaign where Alex Jones is present. Unnamed smooch. Oh, that's... Hmm, smoocher. Johannes Wilson. Yo John... I'm going to go with unnamed, because that seems like the most appropriate thing we should do there. Actually, you know what? This actually probably help out if we do this, just because... Well, it's pro well there's a chance we'll probably get found out. We're going to do this just because it helps lower the entrenchment of our enemies, which would be probably a pretty good thing to do. Uh, let's see. Yeah, keep sinking some stuff. Subs? I love subs. Over here, we we'll probably get sub threes eventually. Carrier fighters, uh, two. Naval bombers, dose. And some more stuff. Uh, I don't mind these cruisers. I really don't. I kind of like them. They're pretty good, I'd say. Even though now we need some more chromium from South Africa. Thank you very much. More and more light cruisers. Because this is what's going to help keep our carriers alive. Hopefully with all the anti-air we put on them. Yeah, this is definitely not someone I was expecting to go to war with. But A, it's alright. So, Bill Clinton. How are the soldiers? You're not there yet. Okay. How are the uh, this main task force? Are they doing okay? Are they all there? No? Alright, cool. And do that area too. So we're split here quite nicely. 
And just in case, let's go and build some... Well, I actually was building a lot of military factories off screen. Build up some more radar right there. That'd probably be pretty good for us. Build up some more industrial you know, air bases, I mean. Build up some more military factories too. Because even though I love infrastructure, sometimes we're going to need a lot more things than just that. Welfare. Meh, welfare. We could do that later on. Better planes. How do we get a, a better doctrine? We need a better doctrine. How about that? And let's go limit exports because now... We're actually at 0 1% minus 1, which isn't too bad. As Alex Jones. He's a good raider. Look at that. 20? 21? Oh, this is nice. Where, where, where are you boys going? Uh, how many of you? Holy crap. 300,000? Of course, mostly to the Reich. We've killed off 13,000, so that's not too bad. We've lost nobody yet. Which is, okay, so uh, Bill Clinton. Uh, let's see what he can do. Hopefully he can do okay. Even though we need to build up a bigger air force still. Which sucks. But give it time. Leftist International Venezuela. Ah, oh, Kamala Harris. We have begun the invasion of Venezuela. Oh, I love it. Force the attack. I want to make sure we can hopefully win down here. Oh boy, that's not good. Of course, there's only one division down there. Hopefully we can land somewhere. I'd be really disappointed if we can't land. Okay, if we can take Caracas. I mean, that'd be great. Uh, yep, support the attack immediately. That would actually probably... Yep, that would definitely help us out. Okay, we took the capital. Alright then. Of course, most of their army is probably over there, so... Uh, if we could land here and then land there, that'd be pretty great. I don't think we even have an air force. Okay, we took the other capital. Great! Two, three, four, five, six. Come on down here, and then y'all... Come on down here. Select all. Alright, then let's go. Uh, we can't see these enemy divisions for some... Oh, there we, there we go. That was hidden from us. Alright, so we got that stuff coming along. We're using close air support, so we'll grab some of that too. Ooh, more... Oh yeah, we definitely need more of this. Carry naval bombers too. We're going to set ourselves up for a really good time in the next episode. Let's see, so we got close air support, carrier fighters too, carry naval bombers, naval bombers. We're going to need more naval bombers and fighters. Like, that's the most important thing that we got to grab, so... Uh, please do not lose uh, the port. That would be very, very uh, bad. Yeah. Thank you very much. Go ahead and hold. And go again. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Just don't get encircled. Or just don't die, you know. Convoy sailing ain't too bad. And we're almost done. Where they're the naval doctrine. I'm actually very surprised that they're not able to do much else. Like, oh, we actually defeated. Well, that's not good. Uh, of course, having red air is not very good. We need some more planes around here. Uh, maybe I'll send Al Gore down here, too. There you go. Good luck, Al Gore. We're going to stop the attacks. So we're going to defend for now, since Venezuela is coming back. So we'll see what happens. They're going to attack us quite a bit, probably. Um, I would recommend... That... There you go. Yep, I knew they attack us. You get those guys over there. Continue sinking things. Oh, we lost maybe a sub or two. That's fine, whatever. Uh, I'm waiting for Al Gore to get down there since he's such a good naval expert. Oh, and they're attacking us here too. Oh, that's not good. And how many Venezuelans are in the military? They've up to 88 divisions. Holy cow. Oh, did those except for them. They're commies, which is, you know, whatever. Uh, oh, they took out Ecuador. Why is that their capital then? That is very strange. Fault Nanjing. Go. Goodbye, Nanjing. Alright, so these guys are coming on in. I'm going to need all y'all to ban your lines eventually. And I'm going to throw you over here. Well, one of these two. It doesn't really matter to me. Once they land and once they get into the positions, we will move these guys around, which will help us out, which will be very nice. It looks like they really don't have that much equipment, which is very good for us. Alright, so our guys are spreading out. Good. we got two ports here, which is good. Uh, how bad is attrition? Oh, good lord. It's going to be very, very bad. Yeah, they actually have pretty good supply around here, too. That's not too bad. Alright, so you all are good to leave. So head on over here. They could probably actually use you over there. You can go ahead and leave as well. And come on over here. Because we're trying to build back a battle. And we're going right there. Alright, so you, at this point, you guys can actually probably do fairly okay. Especially over here. So not too worried about that. Plane-wise, I'm a little worried about planes just because we don't have a very good amount of production for them. 
it is what it is. We gotta definitely beat these guys up a little bit more. We definitely need a little bit more chromium, and we definitely need a little bit more rubber. There we go, we linked up here. That's awesome. There we go. So just do this. Get everyone over here. There we go. So how many Venezuelans have died? 362,000? That's not enough. Oh, and Al Gore just... Go ahead when you can. You should be able to do that. Claims on Peru. Well, they're already fighting Peru, I thought. Uh, tw uh, they don't have that much manpower. I mean, yeah, we're going to lose quite a few guys here. But it is what it is. It's okay. I sent the two generals I have without any air force. God dang it. This is why I'm trying to build more factories so we can get a bigger air force. Oh my goodness. Plus air support isn't too bad though. There you go. And Belgium to the Allies. Ah, I'm not really interested in helping out the Allies this time around. You know, things happen. Landing craft is very nice. Happy 1941. Let's grab some more output because that'll be helpful because we were probably already out of stuff. Oh, we're out of stuff a little bit. Guns are looking good though. We got a better doctrine. We're going to build back better. We'll be riding with Biden. Well, actually, Biden's already gone. Jesus. Uh, denounce fascism. Yeah, I'll do nuclear focus. We need some nukes. Not a bad idea. In addition, we'll go and do some regimental combat teams. It's very, 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 very nice. We're going to throw whoever we had down here. Oh, we linked up. Good job, guys. Shouldn't be too long to take these guys out. But then again, I've been wrong before. All right, if you guys kill them off, that'd be great. Looking not great around here, but not bad. We've lost how many? 50,000, probably? Oh, 20,000 versus... 83,000, so you guys are going to be suffering over there, which is, you know, whatever. Uh, you guys... Yeah, I can't imagine these guys holding on any longer without any manpower. They just went to maybe a service by requirement, which is fine. I don't think they have enough guns, though. That's I think that's the biggest thing for them. Nice. Down the cruiser to done. Let's grab some more construction speed, because that'll be helpful. Very, very good. I could call more people down. Hey, we actually made it in a circle point. Look at that. And they're doing less stand, it looks like. Yeah, they're doing a last stand. God dang it. That sucks. That's actually very smart for the AI to do there since they're going to lose them anyways, but man, that sucks. They got to be out of guns, right? Yeah, they're running out of manpower too, hopefully. Alright, so where are our guys? Hmm, there's really nowhere we can send them. I guess, yeah, you stay there, I suppose. I don't have that much intel on them, which sucks, but that's alright. And this is all looking very good. This stuff I don't really care about. Naval stuff, we're almost completely done. Wow. Cruiser holes? Why not? Might as well use that naval XP for something, right? Alright, so who's moving what where? You guys gotta come down here so we can cut the rest of these guys off. So it makes it much easier to kill these guys off, which would be good. And if the allies die, you know, they die. If they die... They die. Please not let them in. God dang it, you pieces of garbage. Why did you let them do that? Yeah, let's at least do that over there. There you go. And then we shall do what? War propaganda? I don't feel like doing war propaganda. Let's get some Kamala Harris division recovery rate. I think that's pretty good. But military staff, we got to go with Bill Clinton. Three more divisions? I think Al Gore could use us some thicker divisions. Especially for what he calls an environmental program. Divisions for the environment. Oh, they got some Soviet boys here. Hmm. It's not quite idea. 37,000 losses versus... Oh, this should be capitulating soon. We cut off almost 180,000 of them off. While they're still killing us. Quite a few of our guys off, which sucks. Hey, you got air superiority. Look at that. Very nice. We're barely doing any damage, but hey, we're still doing damage. So that's good. Yeah, these guys, once these guys fold, it'll be not too difficult. Hopefully. And giving our uh, admiral some ne much needed experience in the sea. Uh, you're level one. Oh, no, he's level two. He's learning. He's learning. He's, he's still getting there. He's still getting his sea legs. And Alex Jones, he's level one still. But that's a little disappointing, but hey, whatever. Alex has got to learn too. He's got to learn how they turn the you know the frogs gay. Alex Jones is such a national treasure. He's so crazy. I love it. Ah, oh, four divisions. You know, could this be real life? It could be. When are we invading Venezuela? Oh, they're so close. So close. 99% of the way there. I love it. I love it a lot. But I know you got to beat him up just a little more. Just touch him a little more. I was going to say Joe Biden, but he's no longer president. It's kind of sad. But, Mama Kamala. 
She's going to throw all of these people in jail. And she's going to use them as a labor. I love it. Cheap, cheap labor. And you know what? When we're done with them with their prison sentences, we're going to keep them in jail for even longer, if possible. Very nice. Ah, riding with Biden was the correct thing to do. No one needs anything else. I'm just going to go ahead and just puppet them. I think that'd be pretty good for all. So, I'll just take... Uh, actually, can we just satellite change government to democracy? No, we're going to take all the states and then liberate them that way. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. Uh, Anti-Republican coalition. No, we good for now. Let's go and release the nations. Now, this is what I call true democracy. The Federal Republic of Venezuela. Now, I like... Asulibio Franco, but I think that's where we're going to end today's episode. Tomorrow will be the last episode just because I want to take out Japan. It'll take a little bit of time, but hey, they're doing pretty well against the Chinese. Regardless, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we watch, well, the world go crazy and everyone's in the Allies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.